Here with Concordia head women's basketball coach Drew Olson after a, a, another lopsided home victory. This one over Briarcliff tonight for yourself, win number uh, 300. Uh, I know you don't want the attention necessarily, but maybe you could just reflect a little bit on uh, what it's taken to get there and, and just some of the special players that you've had a chance to coach. Yeah, and that's, that's really what it's about. It's, um, I've been really, really blessed to have some incredible players throughout my career. Um, you know, so thankful for that, that first couple teams that kind of stuck with me. Uh, and I know that I, I wasn't the best coach then, but uh, like the, the Whitney Stitchkas and Melissa Tinkham and May Koopman, just um, what they did those first couple of years. And then, um, you know, so many players, I mean, Katie Rich, Amber Kissler, Kristen Conahan, and then it's kind of cool to, to do it with Bailey Morris here. Um, but man, it's just, it's just an incredible journey that I've been on because of these kids and uh, the work that they put in. Uh, as far as tonight's game, sloppy both ways in that opening quarter. What did you tell them and, and how did you kind of settle in? Yeah, I thought Briar Cliff came and played really well in that first quarter. I, we didn't shoot well, and thankfully Brantley did. Uh, man, Brantley came to play. But uh, I think once we kind of settled into what we should do defensively, uh, then, then it was a difference. And, um, you know, that, that's kind of the, the thing with this team. We, we play a couple minutes and figure out how we're going to defend each team. And then once we figure that out, then the rest of the game seems like it, it goes our way. How does maybe the way Brantley plays just embody – kind of the style that you like and, and the, the mindset that you like. She hasn't, things haven't always gone uh, the way she would like this season as far as her shooting, but tonight was, was huge. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm so proud of her. I'm, I just love what she has become. Uh, she's somebody that, that doesn't get bothered by, by missing shots and she just keeps, you know, keeps her focus on, on what she can do and that's, that's defend. And, and she's starting to take uh, take the ball to the basket a little bit more, which is nice to see. Uh, but man, her hustle and uh, what she's become on the defensive end has been impressive. Mm -hmm. Well, if it weren't uh, for Mary being on the verge of a, another milestone, uh, a thousand points, I'm sure she probably wouldn't go back into the game in that spot. But uh, what uh, what can you say about that moment? A long three that got her. To a thousand points. Yeah, that's that's really tough to do. I mean, uh, I didn't know where she was at, and then the bench told me, and so we asked, you know, should we put her back in? And, um, called the timeout, ran something for her, but they did a good job defending it. And and then it's just to the point of the whole team knows we got to get Mary a three, and uh, to be able to step up and hit that kind of a shot with that pressure um, is, is really impressive.